This is not a drill. In the Season 2 Reloaded update, we got seven new camos added to the game. There are some other stuff added in that we'll talk about later, but the camos are the most important part, at least to me. So with this update, we got one new weapon, the Tempest Torrent Marksman Rifle. And every time a new weapon is added, we get four new camos added with that. So there's a little bit of our camos there. Uh, these are actually pretty nice, at least some of them. Uh, our very first camo here, the Speckled. This is like one of the best camos we can get for like just the base... 50 kills like the very first camo for a weapon i like it a lot it looks like a banana basically uh it's a pretty unique camo and it's really nice i i i enjoy it and then our second camo here is the oxysporum uh this is pretty decent i like the the variants of it it's like some pastel colors mixed in there with some different patterns on it is pretty nice. And then we got Dire Growth. Not the biggest fan of it, but it's not terrible. And then Sandfall, which is really bad. It seems like they kind of got these camos backwards almost. Like it should start with Sandfall and then Dire Growth. But it's whatever. I'm fine with getting the cooler looking camos to start. But you might be asking, what are the other three camos that they've added? Well, we now have an event tab over here for all the event camos. And you can see right here, we have Winds of Ash, which is basically the Cherry Blossom camo from Cold War. And uh, I'll get into how you get that a little later. But we also have these two other camos, Pure Poison and viscous and these are the camos that you get for completing the raids so the raids are those three person spec op missions that you just hop in and try to like solve beat whatever but they went back and added a little mystery case in there that you can pick up and get these camos i personally haven't done it yet i will be doing it but uh here are the camos for it the pure poison not the greatest but you know if it's like some rare limited camo or whatever i'm gonna have to pick it up i have to get every camo in this game and then the viscous camo is actually pretty nice uh it's like almost a snake camo combined with a tiger camo the green and black works really well uh these two are kind of similar this pattern in the way the the colors are laid out is a lot nicer to me and then this one kind of just looks like uh one of the sand camos just recolored and for the winds of ash camo if you come over here here to the event tab we have all these new challenges to do to unlock it for each of these weapon classes so if you just get the required amount of headshots for all these weapons you'll unlock it for each class i already have the marksman rifle one done because you need to use marksman rifles to unlock the new weapon as well as you know just getting them as i'm unlocking camos for it so we have it unlocked there and then we need to get it for the rest so i will be doing this eventually you know within the coming days here but it seems like you might get a second one because up here you can see it's like a little white background with maybe a little pink and blue and down here it seems like it's all blue background so maybe for getting all these done you get a new mastery for it and a, a cool little weapon charm so i'm definitely gonna be getting these done but for the rest of today i'm gonna be getting all the camos done here on the new marksman rifle and we need to get 20 mounted kills with it and 40 suppressor kills so i'm gonna toss the suppressor on here hop in and try to get these done all right so outside of the new camos and weapons we did get a new map this is himmel expo something like that H Himmel Matt Expo. Now, I will say this map visually looks really good. This is a good looking map. Looks very nice. Maybe one of the best looking maps in the game. However, the gameplay on it sucks. It is awful. I've only played like a few games on it, maybe like three or four. And every time it seems like I'm just playing hide and seek looking for people on the map the whole time. Like the challenge to unlock this weapon is to get double kills. And it was a struggle even trying to see two people at once. Oh, I got a double kill right there, of course. As I'm saying it, I, I have the worst commentator's curse. Whatever I say, the opposite happens. Oh man, I would I would hate to get a million dollars right now. Oh, that would really suck. But I don't know. Maybe people are just getting used to it. Maybe there's not really a flow to it yet. I, I'm not too sure. But this is just a very big map. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are just sick of the, the large maps like I am. Like, I just want to see something a little smaller, you know? I want to see something more like shoot house size. It seems like all the other maps in this game are just insanely big this is also taking the place of shipment 24 7 we now have himmel whatever expo 24 7 which i'm not the biggest fan of but they also did add a, a big team mosh pit like 10v10 mosh pit they added in a party mode mosh pit as well and i think to try to remedy the whole no shipment thing they added in a close quarters mosh pit which uh, doesn't feel very close quarters at all it has maps like mercado de los alamos or whatever i'm definitely butchering the pronunciation of that and they have like farm 18 but i've also seen this map on here which is not close quarters at all maybe some of the fights are because there's like a few smaller areas in the map but this map is giant this thing is ridiculous this is basically a ground war map for 6v6 and it's just a little bit frustrating seeing them like you know take the time to work on a map and it being like uh, kind of the complete opposite of what we're all looking for but uh, again the aesthetics on this map amazing great fantastic 
The size of it, not a big fan. But they also added in Drop Zone. Personally, I haven't played it yet because every time I went to go queue it while I was streaming. Also, shout out to those of you that come by the stream. Really do appreciate it. But we tried to hop in there and every time it would just give me like border crossing or some like big ass map for 6v6. And I was just not going to do it. They also added one in the chamber and all or nothing. Uh, One in the chamber, basically just have, you know, obviously what it's called one bullet in the chamber uh you try to get kills that way uh from what i was told in the stream chat you only get two lives though which is weird honestly it's been a while since i played one in the chamber so i can't remember if that's like uh standard or not but then they also added another mode called all or nothing that i personally also haven't checked out because the challenge for getting this marksman rifle getting the two double or 25 double kills with marksman rifles took me so long to do that uh i was pretty burnt out by the time i had it unlocked and leveled up but we'll get to it we'll try out all the modes and everything but let me know how you guys are, are liking the season liking the modes liking the map because may I, I may be in the the wrong here maybe i'm just being a debbie downer and not liking the new map oh i just hit a crazy fucking throwing knife and this guy stuck me at the same time what a crazy lethal trade but i'm i'm just really excited about all the camos they added in like all they have to do is add camos to things and i'll do it they added a camo in for playing objective and ranked i'll go through and i'll win 100 games they, they add a camo in for getting headshots with guns guess what i'm gonna go do that as well i really like the amount of camos they're adding to the game because it's literally like my favorite part is going through and unlocking like different cosmetics for doing specific challenges and as long as they add in a new camo for ranked every season and they add in like some more event camos like this I'll be a happy camper. I, the only thing I'm really asking for is a few more maps and maybe like a, a little bit of a slower TTK, but that might be asking for too much. But overall, from what I've seen with this marksman rifle, it's pretty good. I like it. It's one of the better marksman rifles, I think. Uh, it's going to be crazy to see how it does in Warzone. I'm not a big Warzone player, so I'm probably not going to hop on there anytime soon to try it out. But a lot of people are saying this may have the making of uh, the DMR from Warzone 1 or the EBR whichever one both have a, a r somewhere in their three letter name basically the same gun but i need to get some mounted kills completely forgot about them also actually while we're out here let's take a quick little peek at this camo it's a little more scratched up than i'd like but it is very pretty it has that the pink secondary color with the white and cherry blossom pattern on the other it looks good but way more scratched than it should be but also unrelated to the update but uh pretty exciting news for today uh if you guys watched my whole like road to orion series you know i did a little gamer guy does sports talk little segment during them and pretty big news happened today aaron Rodgers has said he only intends to play for the new york jets now if you don't know he, he played for the green bay packers for the longest time which is in the same division as my detroit lions and he's kind of beaten our ass for years until the most recent you know year or two and we've kind of been getting back at him. But now he's finally out of the vision. His bitch ass can go play somewhere else and I don't have to deal with them. So pretty happy about today. Cod update plus Aaron Rodgers leaving the division. I can't ask for I can't ask for more, really. There we go. That's our first mounted kill. Jeez. See, mounted kills aren't even like difficult. It's just difficult to get my my pea brain to stop running around for a second and sit down and go for some kills. But this is actually a pretty decent spot for him. We just got three right there. Could have had more if I didn't whiff. But uh, that's the game. 34 kills. Not bad. And to be honest, that time around the map felt pretty decent. I was actually seeing some people. This is a quick little look at the banana camo. I actually really like it. Very nice. Little speckles on there too. It's just aging just right for a banana. And we, we're on 10v10 now instead of just the 24-7 playlist of the other map. 10v10 is like the only thing keeping multiplayer afloat right now. Because without shipment... And there's no way to play it like a specific map to get things done. 10v10 is kind of like a savior, except there is border crossing on here. And it feels like every time I hop on 10v10, I have to back out of at least one or two border crossing like matches. Why can't I place it here? There we go. Beautiful. Peek through here. There we go. Oh, racking up the amount of kills now. Keep them coming. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, no, sir. There we go. Ooh, I gotta be like close to done with these mounteds, right? I've gotten so many. Oh, well, I guess we'll find out. Did I get it done? Oh, I did. Sweet. We can work on three kills without dying now. Beautiful. This is sick. 10v10 on embassy. We should fly through this gold challenge, especially the way I've been playing ranked. I've been playing ranked like ass. I've been getting my ass kicked. I hit plat one and I'm hard stuck. Just been getting obliterated. Oh, that's a double kill. Come on, one more. There we go. That's three. Just need to do that, what, nine more times? Oh, eat that. Skill issue on your part, bitch. 
And let me just kill this guy up here. Beautiful. 10v10s is so much fun if you get, like, good maps. They just really need to add back combat pacing. That was, like, the best thing they added into Vanguard and has not made a return for whatever reason. That's two. Where's number three at? Right here. Nope. Number three is going to be over here. There we go. Beautiful. Not beautiful. Yes, it was beautiful. It was gorgeous. And then we're going to do one of these. Oh, we're slapping. Going in. Can't be stopped. Can't be moved. Oh, I can't be rocked though. Damn, ruined my whole thing. A 10v10 game of hardpoint shoot house? I'm in heaven. Never mind, I'm getting rocked. Every time I spawn and go anywhere, I'm just getting dusted. That's gotta be so nice to be on the, the ass kicking end of this and not on the end of my ass getting kicked. I'm literally spawning right next to eight people. Finally, there's three kills without dying. Jeez. It's just non-stop firefighting. The second I'm shooting somebody, somebody's spawning behind me. There's somebody like inside of me. There's just no freedom here. I'm just getting split roasted. There we go. We're finally on the ass kicking end. Oh, let's fucking go. Oh, eat that throwing knife. Did I get gold yet? I feel like the, the unlock pop-ups aren't showing. So I did get gold. I have no idea. I wish there was a way to check camos in game. I need to know if I got gold done so I can start working on these long shots. Because this map is going to be very helpful for that. Maybe I should start going for them anyways. Let me change the class around a little bit. Sorry, laser. Don't need you. We need an optic. And we need it three to four times. There we go. Four times. Oh. 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 We're getting plenty of long shots, too. All right, I guess we'll see if we actually got gold. I, I don't know what the hell's happening with unlocks popping up, but we had almost 70 kills that game. Decent amount of long shots if we already had gold unlock. If not, then maybe we just threw that whole game. Please say we got it. Please, bro. We did. Perfect. And almost half of our long shots or 11 out of 25. That's pretty good. All right, joining the game in progress. Where we're absolutely getting dismantled, but I'm going to use this map for what it's made for long shots and i saw somebody using a spot earlier that was pretty good and there's a wilson never mind no wonder we joined this game in progress there's so many people with zero kills zero captures so they're just tossing people in this lobby but i saw a pretty decent long shot spot right over here by this tree that i cannot get to okay this is a spot right here i'm gonna sit right here and try to shoot anybody in this window thank god i got to a perfect spot where the vtol can't hit me why can't i place this okay VTOL can't hit me. This game sucks. I'm leaving. And we get another great map in a game in progress. At least uh, both the maps are good for long shots. Dude, I get, I get up for one second to watch our flank and you take my spot? Fuck off. These are my long shots. You better just back out of the lobby, pal. You're not getting any for staying next to me. Yeah, I switched over to hardcore to see if I can get these long shots a little easier. I can't believe I got 11 long shots in one game of shoot house. And then in the last three games I've played on maps that have pretty decent long shot angles, I've gotten like four. This is why the long shot grind is just annoying. It takes so long to do. Our core definitely makes it easier though. Just one little tap of Ruski and we get some camo progress. Oh, I just need one more long shot. That's it. Just one. And then we can work on headshots. Oh, finally. That's our last long shot. Is it going to show me the platinum pop-up? No, pop-ups are completely busted. What the hell's going on? All right, well, we can change this from a long shot build to a headshot build. There we go. Give me a head. Just need 24 more of those. Make it 23. All right. We got another game of 10v10 shipment, and I just need like 13 headshots to close out this gun. Oh, make it 12. Ooh. I love shoot house so much. This is the camo map, dude. Oh. Easy. I love it when people aren't playing. Free camos for me. Oh, another one. And another. Oh, let's fucking go. Racking them up. Oh, keep them coming. We got to be close. I wish the unlocks weren't bugged and I'd know if I already had it. But I have to play through this whole game just to make sure. Let's see. Moment of truth. Did we get it? Oh, we did. Let's go. That's Polyatomic and Orion, baby. All right, let's go ahead, hop in game, and see what it looks like there. And what do you know? New update, yet private matches are still bugged. There's still a HUD in hardcore and private matches, which is unfortunate, but 
This is what the Tempest looks like with Orion on it, and it's a very good looking gun. The inspect on it's pretty cool too. You get to see the whole gun, grab the mag, and then you kind of just flip it like this. I don't know the reason for it, but it's pretty unique and I like it. But there you have it. We got the new Tempest Marksman rifle, Orion, as well as checking out all the other camos in the game. Uh, so far, I like this update. There obviously could be more in terms of like maps and things like that, but I really like all the camos they're adding in. It, it, it's really exciting. So be on the lookout. We're gonna have to grind out all those camos on this account. We have our second account camos to do. There's a lot of camos coming in here. But I gotta go take a shit. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I truly do appreciate it. It means the most. Uh, I appreciate all the love and support you guys give me. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.